I'm going to show you how to create a customized header for your blog using a site called cooltext.com and Keynote. So I'm going to open up Keynote. Uh, I use Keynote a lot of times just um, as a blank slate. It's the same thing as PowerPoint. You could, do, you could use PowerPoint for the same thing. So I've got just a blank slide and I'm going to take the text box out of um, uh, my keynote so that I have just a blank page. I'm going to go up and I'm going to insert a um, shape and I'll go to my inspector and I want to change the color of that so I'm going to click on this graphic right here and I'm going to do color fill and I can choose whatever color I want and I like to use the crayon box because it lets me specify and I'm going to choose of course I'm going to choose pink so I'm going to close all these back out and I'm going to stretch it out all the way across my tile, my slide. And let's say I want to choose, I want to do another box. So, or I want to do some circles. So let's choose this circle and let's put it right up there and let's change the color of it. Um, we can make it gradient, which means it, which means it just changes from one to another. How about pink? to yellow. See pink to yellow. And I can make it larger if I want. So there's a color. And I, let's say I want my outline to be um, turquoise. And I want it really, really wide turquoise. Okay. So there we go. And I can change, I can put another shape in it's there if I want to. A star. And let's change the color of that. Um, let's do a green one. Okay, we're just messing around here. <coughs> okay, put it right on top. Okay, so now we've got our shapes. Let's go, uh, let's shrink that down and let's go to cool text. Now, in cool text, you have all these fonts that you can choose from. I mean, there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fonts. I'm going to choose, um, this is kind of a, uh, let's choose that one. Let's use spring. So I'm going to choose spring. And um, I'll call it uh, Mrs. Lanford's Corner. Okay. I don't want it quite that big, so I'm going to change my font down a little bit smaller. And if I don't want it, I kind of like the blue and purple, but if I didn't want it a blue and purple, I could change the colors of it right here. I'm going to keep it just like that. And what you do is you go up on top of the um, header that you made, on, on, on top of the words that you made, and you just right click and save the image as... And I'll call it uh, Miss Cranford's Corner. And I save it. I save everything to my desktop so that I can find it real easily. All right. Now I'm going to pull back up my keynote right here. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And here's Miss Cranford's Corner. And I'm going to take it. And I'm just going to drag it right up. In fact, I think I'll put it down underneath. And if I don't want it quite so big, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Okay. So there's Miss Cranford's corner. And then I'm going to hold down um, Shift Command 4. And I am going to snap this picture right here. And now, when I open it up, there's a picture of my header. And I can go into my blog, and I can change my header to um, Miss Cranford's Corner. And that's how easy it is to create your own personalized header.